Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for January 5th, 2021. So yesterday, we got a little reminder that bears still exist in the market. And not only that, we kind of get that reminder that when we have an overextended condition in the market, how painful a sell-off can become very, very quickly. So hopefully you heeded some of the warnings and, and didn't overtrade or chase into that market open yesterday because you probably had a little bit of pain in your account if that were the case yesterday. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we can expect from here forward. It's gonna be really, really critical what happens next. So let's settle in, grab yourself something to drink. Let's buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So yesterday selling certainly raises the, some concern for this market and lifts the caution level just slightly overall. Let's take a look, that ugly bearish engulfing candle there on that chart. And why, why is that a problem for us? Well, first off, remember we were talking yesterday about that possibility of a price support in here. And unfortunately, yesterday we lost that price support, breaking um, that to move lower. And then we moved on down to test this level of price support. And if you guys remember, I mentioned the possibility of 300 or 30,000 being a possible test should we fail this price support. And that's exactly what we ended up getting yesterday. Um, not that I predicted that in any way, shape or form. I don't want anybody to um, assume that. There just was some warnings in the indicators um, that that possibility could occur. I never expected it to occur all at once like that. But taking a look at this, now we've got a couple things that we have to be a little bit concerned about. But there's also things that there gives us just a little bit of hope as well. First off, let's take a look at our trend here. If we notice our trend on this chart, yesterday we not only broke this level of price support, but yesterday we broke the trend. However, by the end of the day, we had a positive reaction. The bulls fought back and held, defended that 30,000 level in the chart and rallied us back up right into the close just, uh, just to hold on to that trend here in the Dow. Overnight futures had been positive and were looking higher after we got news that um, the NICE was going to reverse its decision and not delist three Chinese telecom companies. And we pumped up a little bit in the overnight futures. Unfortunately, we've kind of lost ground here this morning with those features dipping in just a little bit. Now, what's going to be critical here is what the follow through is. So please keep in mind, if we can, if those bulls can defend, if we can push this back up into here and even recover that level of price support in the chart, then no harm, no foul. This yesterday's candle will be seen as nothing more than volatility. Um, it might have been painful volatility, but that's what it'll be seen as. No harm, no foul. However, should we fail, even if we rally back, if we get those bulls to push this back up and we were to rally into that price resistance and show failure, if in the next few days we cannot breach back above that in those bears, happen to create a lower low, then we're gonna create some technical damage in the charts and psychologically, psychologically it could be a problem. So the follow through today or the next few days is going to be very important. Will the bulls defend strong enough to recover some of those support levels and regain confidence or will those bears 
continue to drive the market a bit lower. If we create this lower low, if we get a candle that breaks down below this level, that could be problematic for the market. Now the same is going to be true. And by the way, if we take a look at our moving averages, technical averages, it's entirely possible that we could see that pushback into that 34 EMA. That would bring us down into a price support level around in here. And if we reach down in there, there would be not much um, in price action here that could prevent us from maybe even testing that 50 day moving average. So keep in mind just how painful that could be if that were the case, if the bears follow through to the downside. So let's take a look at that from where we closed in the Dow yesterday. If we were to push down in toward that 34 EMA, that's a 900 point sell off down to that 50 day is a 1400, 1500 point sell off. So pretty darn painful if that were to, to occur. So just keep that in mind and remember, it's gonna be very, very important how, um, how we react to um, over the next couple of days. Will those bulls defend or will those bears finally show some energy and uh, give us a bit of a pullback? Just stay tuned. Anything is possible here, watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation. Notice that we pushed down, we broke this trend uh, temporarily yesterday, but we found some price support right in here on the SPY and the bulls defended, came running back in and um, tried to hold on to that trend by the close of the day. Now, if we see that follow through, same story here, different verse um, in the SPY. If we can get those bulls to defend hard enough and drive us back up, holding on to that trend, recovering this lost price support, no harm, no foul. If they happen to fail up in this area and create that lower high, that's where we could have some problems and if we break this low of yesterday, that could create those psychological problems and really create some technical damage in the charts. So watch that closely. One thing I would I would caution against right now is uh, that buy the dip mentality, just rushing in buying the dip could prove to be dangerous with all of the news and events that we've got coming in the next few days and the volatility that could be there. So be really, really careful. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ also um, giving up trend yesterday. And unfortunately, the bulls weren't able to push this up quite far enough yesterday to um, recover that trend. Now this, is, this trend has been um, showing a little bit of struggle up in here, but um, yesterday's selling, uh, leaving that bearish engulfing candle, um, breaking some price support levels in the chart, um, creates some um, worry and concern, obviously, in the market. Now, um, once again, we found those bulls finding um, enough energy to defend some price support areas in the chart. So if they can continue to defend, continue to rally this back up and recover that trend and this support level, Again, no harm, no foul in the market. We could see new highs coming. If they happen to fail, if those bears fight back and happen to fail in this area and break this low, that could be a bit of a technical problem for the charts. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM already had a little bit of a problem going on, and we saw that follow through here. Um, that bearish follow through that actually disrupted this uptrend in the market. And the bulls were unable to recover that. You can see we consolidated here a bit. And then we actually created that lower high yesterday in the market. So technically speaking, we have begun a a little downtrend here in the IWM. We we'll wanna watch that closely. So remember what has to occur here, we would need those bulls to break that downtrend, hold that as support to prove a higher low, and then we can get back in a technically correct pattern to the upside here on IWM. And I've been mentioning that IWM was a bit of a concern for me, and that was just simply because it had become so parabolic in this rally to the upside that a pullback 
um, shouldn't have been a major surprise um, at all to most folks. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX um, left us with a little bit of concern um, yesterday. We saw this rally substantially and rally pretty hard. We broke above that 50 day moving average and I was talking about that yesterday. And that really raises the fear level here in the market, pushing us up above that 50. Not only did we do that, we came right up in here and we kind of tested or even, depends on how you draw that, may have even broke through this little downtrend that we had going in the VIX. So what does that mean? Well, I don't think it means a tremendous amount unless we actually prove to hold this level up here. If we break through and hold a support level, and then we see follow through selling, that's where the real selling comes in. Let me show you right over here. It occurred right over here in this area. Okay, we break that downtrend, break it, hold a support, and that's where the real real fear selling came into the market. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely um, in this chart. If we happen to get those bulls defending and we pull back from here, no worries. No, none whatsoever. This was just a volatility fear spike and no particular problem. However, if we pop through there, hold that as support and then see follow through fear, follow through selling, that could be a real problem for the market and we could get that fast and ugly little sell off to happen. So watch that closely and carefully. Let's take a look at T2101. I've been mentioning T2101 here uh, for a little while. Um, uh, uh, the fact that it has been in a substantial decline. And as the market was going up, T2101 continued to indicate that fewer and fewer stocks were able to hold the market up. Now, yesterday we saw a little bit of a turn higher in T2101. And unfortunately, that's, um, we're getting increased market breadth coming in on a selling wave. Not what we want to see. If that were to accelerate, that could be a problem. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, notice that all although we had that pretty hefty selling yesterday, by the end of the day, we still are kind of hovering up here um, well above our um, bearish reversal zone. So we've stayed up here for a long, long time, and that's what created that we just kept pushing and pressing and pushing and pressing and pushing and pressing, um, making new record after new record. And that creates these big, ugly sell-offs sell from time to time. And I've been warning of that possibility, and hopefully you have protected yourself for from that possibility. Now, having said that, the selling yesterday opened up that possibility if the bulls can fight back if they can defend then we have that uh, plenty of room now to rally back to the upside certainly a possibility that we want to be paying attention to if they can defend if they fail that defense however just notice that we still have that additional downside before we reach an oversold condition in the market so keep that um, aware of that that we may not be done with this little bit of selling volatility um, and with um, news events such as the Georgia uh, Senate runoff race that could create some news ripples in the market um, um, we have the surging pandemic and we have you know countries like england going into full nationwide lockdowns uh, the new covid strain uh, being identified in new york and issues starting to crop up around that we could see um, that hopefulness of a really quick recovery um, from the pandemic fade a little bit. And issues like that can, can really create that volatility if all of a sudden that news story starts to shift or that sentiment begins to sit, shift. So make sure you're planning your trading very carefully. You're um, not getting overextended 
um, in your positions and you're not over trading. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today because our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to be paying attention to this morning. First off, um, motor vehicle sales uh, numbers, um, those are out this morning. Um, those don't typically move the market a whole lot. Uh, what we're going to be um, focused mostly on this morning is the ISM manufacturing number. And consensus has that coming in just a modestly, just a tiny bit lower um, than the last reading. And if that's the case, probably not much effect here on that ISM. Keep in mind, we do have more Fed speakers to be paid attention to here. And remember that we've got that Georgia runoff election going on today. So tomorrow, depending on how that comes, that will could potentially change the balance of Congress. If I don't know what the market reaction to that might be, but just keep in mind that as news comes out, we could see some volatility, you know, exit polling and things like that, volatility based on that news. And we could also see um, a, a interesting situation tomorrow morning where we can get a gap up, gap down, uh, depending on that news. So plan your risk carefully thinking about um, what the results of that election might be. And then also remember we have FOMC minutes tomorrow that can create some um, interesting volatility um, in and of itself along with um, the ADP number. So could be an interesting couple of days here for us in the market. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. And we, we have several companies um, listed um, as potential earnings today, but only one verified report. And that would be after the bell today, take a look at SGH. SGH is, is the only verified report today. And um, after the bell, they were, will be reporting. And you can see we have a pretty substantial and strong um, rally going on. Maybe a little bit overextended um, in that short-term move as we've pushed up, hit some resistance, and yesterday saw that selling coming into the market. We may be a little bit stretched overall, but watch that. That'll be important for later on today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you find the video to be worthy uh, of supporting, just click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and always feel free to share these videos out on your social media platform. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does that. It helps the channel grow, helps us reach more folks, and um, all of your kind words of support. Um, uh, I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at a few stocks, but let's keep in mind that there are some problems here in this market. And although our trends still lean to the upside, we may be in that transition period and we'll want to watch that close. Now, yesterday I mentioned um, the metals and I'm still going to go with that theme today. Take a look at GLD yesterday. Gold had a great day yesterday. So we continue to print money. We continue to debase um, the US dollar. And as you can see, had a, a strong surge to the upside yesterday and is trying to follow through today. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in this trade and I'm not going to chase this move. What I need is some kind of a rest or pullback and then I may be looking for a position in here. And I wanna see that kind of contact this trend out here. So I'll keep an eye on it, watch for a potential trade in there. The same thing would be for silver. I don't have a position in that and really wishing that I did um, at this point, as you can see, silver showing lots of strength here, surging to the upside, running into some price resistance here, but just keep in mind that it is holding up quite well and any rest or pullback could set up that next opportunity to the upside. Sticking with the metal theme, I'm gonna take a look at um, 
um, Cleveland Cliffs. Notice that yesterday, while everything was selling off, we just had a little bit of a modest pullback here in Cleveland Cliffs. Still steel holding up very, very well. So we broke through a little bit of resistance. We're just holding that as support. I don't know if this needs to consolidate longer, um, what will actually occur here, but keep an eye on that for that possibility that that could move to the upside. Um, and there are um, other stocks like Alcoa that held up very, very well yesterday in that aluminum space, holding in there nice and strong, something to pay attention to. Now, one thing that was interesting yesterday is a lot of the consumer discretionaries were hit pretty hard yesterday with that selling. The good part of that is that we ended up holding on to this support. So keep a close eye on this. Consumer discretionary could be an interesting area. Uh, notice that we're holding in trends here. And this is a place where folks might run for a little dividend yield and safety overall in the market. So watch that closely if that can kind of hold on um, in the charts. If you're looking for um, some places where there might be some shorting, just be careful guys. Um, shorting um, a market that is um, still trying to hold on to a trend can be a little bit problematic and dangerous so be careful if you're looking for some of those short trades. There are um, quite a few uh, potentials out there to choose from, however. Let's also take a look. Something interesting happened um, yesterday. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart caught um, a nice rally yesterday, pushing up. Now, this really isn't ready for prime time yet, in my opinion. You can see we just break this downtrend here, um, and we're trying to test some price resistance in that chart. But if that can prove to hold up here, hold that downtrend, we could see Walmart picking back up some of those retailers um, um, holding in and holding strong. Take a look at Caterpillar. Caterpillar overall, I, I talked about these yesterday, that heavy equipment space, um, holding up quite well. Although we shot up a little bit and pulled back, notice we're still holding in this trend, holding on to support. So if those bulls do step up and push this market on higher, just watch this in here for that next opportunity to the upside. So I apologize. I spent a little bit too long talking about the indexes today, and I'm running out of time here for this video. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Be safe and be careful out there, everyone. Plan your risk carefully. Remember that Georgia runoff election could have some ramifications for the market. Um, and um, then also this surging pandemic issue um, and those potentials out there of additional restrictions that may be coming our way. So watch that carefully. We could see a little bit of pause here in the market, if not that full on bearish move. So just be careful, plan carefully, and um, try not to over trade a market like this. There's a lot of events that could move us very quickly. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all soon and see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Be safe, everyone.